up. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you about this technique that I've seen really stretches my wash and go. You know how you, when you're personally experiencing something, you can't really see it until you like watch the video back or in hindsight, basically. So on a video, I said, oh, my hair's a little bit stretched because I was, you know, putting it up or whatever. But it's more than a little bit. It's like a decent amount. It's like a decent fro, like this. Like I'm like, this is decent. This is nice, and this is no effort because my hair is long. But and it's usually like super, super shrunken. And I'm realizing that it's not a little bit. It's almost a considerable amount of stretching for doing absolutely nothing. I'll link that video below, and I'll tell you what it is right now. And basically, it's this. It's a satin scarf. It can be any sort of satin scarf. And this is a stay on satin scarf. Stay on satin scarves, I hate them. They're evil for me. They rip out my edges. But I still use them because it's old and I've worn it so many times that that's that sticky stuff is almost like Velcro to my edges. It's completely gone. It's completely worn away. But I do not recommend stay on satin scarves. That brand, Stay On Satin, I recommend a regular silky, completely silky type. It could be a polyester scarf that has that silken finish to it that makes it feel just like satin or silk. Do that. Normal, silky, completely silky on both sides. Not this brand. These things rip your edges out. Anyway, I still use it because, as I said, it's completely gone because it's so old and I've worn it so many times. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I just let it rip my edges until it went up. That's ridiculous, but that's what I did. I have not bought my regular all silky scarves yet, so I'm still using these, and they work like a charm because it's worn out, basically, so there's nothing to rip at my edges anymore. It doesn't have to be this hoodie type thing, and you just wrap your hair, your wash and go. Your wash and go, this is a very important point, guys. It needs to be mostly dry, if not 100% dry, and it works pretty much the first night, but if you do this two nights in a row, it's like BAM! Wow, like this is what you get. I did nothing, okay? Nothing. So all you do is you just have the scarf, you push all your hair up, and it's natural because you don't want to sleep on too much puffage back there, right? So what do you do? You naturally just slope it up. I don't have to put any effort into it. I just slope my hair up a little bit as I'm wrapping it all the way around. I slope everything up. And in the slope of everything sloping up into that scarf, it's naturally stretching the front and the perimeter of your entire head. And all the hair in the perimeter is just stretched and then it's easier once the hair is dry for you just to pull, pull, pull. Naturally, the inside will be a little bit more shrunken, but it's no big, especially when your shrunken wash and go is totally dry. You just pull, pull, pull and hold a second and it's, you're going to naturally get a little, you see that, get a little more stretch, okay? So that's, that's what, that was a cute style. So that's just what I had in the room. So that's just what you get. That's what you get when you, and I was like, wow, I'm tempted to do wash and goes. Y'all know I do not do wash and goes, even though they look good on me because, because of my whole rippage situation, but this is it. And I feel like I'm making another little amendment. Like I just made the amendment about just a little bit, but in hindsight I saw that it was not a little bit with this thing. It was a considerable amount of stretch. Now when I was talking about my soybean and how it took two months for me to get back to my total curl pattern, that's not totally accurate. You know what? It could be one of two things. I don't think it's inaccurate, but I think it's either a teensy weensy bit less of the soybean that's making my hair not knot as much, or it could be the fact that my hair is naturally more moisturized now because I've been wearing scarves. I've been leaving it open to air less, okay? So because my hair is literally more moisturized, I think that's the reason. Because if I survey my curl, I just, just give me five seconds to like really delve into my curl pattern so I can make an educated assumption right now. I do think it's because my hair is more moisturized. So I'm going to do, a, yeah, because this is my hair, legit, legit. So it's because my hair is more moisturized. So I'm like, previously I could never wear wash and goes. I still get the whole end situation. But I'm thinking I'm just really tempted to do the wash and go because it's so, wow, if I can make it look this good. Y'all know how I can do a bomb wash and go, like OMG, like one of my best videos. And I always get like ridiculous nasty knotting. But I don't, that's why I don't do them. But I don't know why for some reason my hair is not knotting as much as it used to. I really think it's because of the moisture. I really do. Because there's no logical reason why my hair should be knotting less. Because when my hair was knotting like a psychopath, I was detangling with a Denman brush like every week. And it was knotting like a cycle. So I don't know why. It's, I really think it's a moisture thing. It's, a, it's the situation with the moisture 
why my hair is not because usually it just knots like like a crazy crazy ah, like i don't know what's with it why it's not doing that and i get like interstitial knots but i'm just feeling it and it's not like that and i know it's because it's coming off of the soybean thing so i think i'll just ride this wave and then again because i'm so tempted to do wash and goes now because it's like so easy for me to do and it's so cute like especially i'm gonna do another little wash and go series now i'm just rambling guys now i'm just literally you're getting stream of consciousness now i'm gonna do a wash and go series and just like literally because it's cute like it's cute like i can just look the edge i can do this technique that i just showed you and do that and i'll have like this is nice height for me like this is nice bigness like i'm liking this height you know what i'm saying but yeah this is this is hotness and i know how to do it to make it all fluffy on the ends watch that video my bomb wash and go video i kill that wash and go it's like dead done okay watch it it's so it's so fierce it's so gorgeous like look at it okay i slick them edges i get the ends real nice and it's like whoa and now i get like big hair it's big it's technically pretty big like this is nice I'm like, I never thought I could do a wash and go, never, ne like in my big fat Greek wedding, we never thought this happened for you two, like never, never, so yeah, I'm shocked, okay, never, never Tula, okay, so honestly, I'm Tula right now, never, never, like I'm really considering this, this will just free up so much of my time, like stylistically, it won't be, yeah, it will, because I'll be able to detangle a little bit faster because I'll use larger sections on the days when I'm not going through with my mini brush. And it's like, yeah, like who doesn't want to not style their hair, like <laughs> meticulously. Um, but yeah, it'll still take basically the same amount of time on wash days because the time that my hair takes is not to style but to detangle. So it'll take almost the same amount of time, but a little bit less because I will be able to detangle it in a larger section okay usually i detangle my hair in 10 sections now i'll be able to detangle it in eight sections yeah legitimately four quadrants yeah eight sections okay so that's the smallest i can detangle my hair while still feeling like i'm not leaving it victim to matting and knotting so yeah so just <laughs> two sections less a little bit less time okay i've tried i've tried doing four sections you can do it but you will have a matty matty mess like your hair will start to snarl and break off and that's loss of length and that's thinning of the ends and we don't want any of that so thinning of the hair in general so yeah yeah so that was this video thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you later later